Lesson 18 is about multiplying fractions and whole numbers and fractional parts of a number. The first question that we have says find three-sevenths of 42. Now the key part of this problem is to know what this word of means. If you remember from our past lessons, of always means to multiply. So we've got our multiplication symbol here. What we're going to do is we're going to say three-sevenths times 42 over 1. And that will tell us, it will help us find what 3 sevenths of 42 is. So if we go ahead and do that, well, let's think about simplifying before we multiply first. Does 7 go into 42? Yes, it does. 7 goes into 42 6 times. So we get 6 over 1 instead of 42 over 7. Makes it a lot easier to multiply. Because we know straight away that 3 times 6 is 18 and 1 times 1 is 1, so we get 18 over 1, which must be equal to 18. And we have our final answer. Simplifying before we multiplied it made it much easier, because otherwise we would have had to say 3 times 42, and then divide that answer by 7, which would have come out to be 18. Either way, we get the answer right, because 18 is 3 sevenths of 42. Let's move on to our next example. What number is 5 sevenths of 12? Now in order to solve this problem, what number, okay, we're going to call what number WN for an abbreviation. Is, is means equal to. And of, of of course means to multiply. So if we know those things, we can write out a equation. What number WN equals 5 sevenths times 12 over 1. Now, we can go ahead and figure out what number it is by multiplying 5 sevenths times 12 over 1. Unfortunately, there's nothing to simplify before we multiply here, so we can just go ahead and begin our multiplication. We know 5 times 12 is 60, and 7 times 1 is 7, so we get 60 over 7. Now, this is a fine way to leave your answer. In fact, in the back of the book in all the odd problems, if you're checking your work, you'll see that whenever there's an improper fraction, it is left that way. We could change this into a mixed number if we like, though. We could say 60 divided by 7. Well, how many times does 7 go into 60? It must go in 8 times, and we get 56. We subtract, and we have 4 left over. We must have an answer of 8 and 4 sevenths. We could go ahead and box that. That's the exact same thing as 60 over 7. Both answers will get you full credit. Both answers are correct because they tell you that 5 sevenths of 12 is 60 sevenths or 8 and 4 sevenths. All right, we'll continue this with our lesson practice on page 65 in our next class. Make sure you've got your notes completed, and I'll see you soon.